So we got here today a Lenovo. Yeah, I should have checked with you. <laughs> So we have a Lenovo IdeaPad S10 here, which is supposed to be the next big thing in sub notebooks. So we are going to open it up. It features an Intel Atom processor, 512 megs of RAM, 80 gig magnetic hard drive, Windows XP, a 10.2 inch LCD display, and it comes in a box that is rated for 2.55 no, 25.5 pounds per inch of edge crush. So, that's very, very impressive, Lenovo. Thank you. Inside, we will find the Lenovo S10 sub notebook. We find a, wow, that is a thick, thick instruction manual. It's like, really thick. It's awesome. See, this is what happens when I don't prep at all for things. So then we've got our accessory box, which I'm going to assume has, yes, the power adapter and a battery. So not much in the way of accessories come with the S10, but stay tuned, we're going to open this baby up and have a look. So first impressions is it is a little bit on the heavier side for a sub notebook, including the three cell battery, but it's also a little bit bigger than most of the sub notes out there. So we're going to take off the plastic covering here, which is um, held on by masking tape, very classy. And we're going to take off the little protective plastic cover on the Lenovo logo, which is very shiny and very nice. The finish on this is kind of a, uh, a matte black. Uh, looks like it's going to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but again, that would be a common theme for all of this. Oh, this is nice. The inside has a, kind of a traditional IBM matte black finish to the keys and to the whole interior of the unit, which has a bit of a sparkle to it, actually. And we're gonna take the screen protector off here. That is a very classy looking little sub note. So there's actually little chromed accents around the webcam as well as on the power button. Come in and have a close look at this keyboard. This is one of the better sub note keyboards we've seen yet. And I'm just going to test it out really briefly here. Okay, the one complaint right off the bat. First, let me say it is not a multilingual keyboard. So if you want an English only keyboard, this will do it for you. However, in my opinion, the shift key on this side should be a little bit closer to the home row instead of having an up arrow there. The left shift is quite comfortable and most of the other keys are within comfortable reach, including the enter key and the backspace, as well as tab caps lock, anything else that you're gonna need. So on the right side of the notebook, we've got express card, headphones, microphone, USB, and LAN with a Kensington lock. And then on the other side of the notebook, we've got a DC in, so that's for your, uh, your wall adapter. Then you've got a VGA out, an SD card, and one more USB port. So the S10 does have one fewer USB port than most of the other sub notebooks that I've seen. It does have some other advantages as well though, such as the bottom plate. From here, you can see that you can easily access both the RAM and the hard drive just by taking out two screws. It's much more user friendly than some of the other sub notebooks out there and it'll make user upgrades theoretically a breeze. Although it's not likely to win any prizes for the best value or necessarily even the best feature set, the S10 is great for if you have a little bit more money for your sub notebook and you wanna look absolutely fabulous while you're using it. The style and the form is unprecedented for the Lenovo S10. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions for future products or any topics you wanna see covered,